Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And I'm back for another book review. And this time it's for book two in Jesse Mihalik's series, Eclipse the Moon. And this time we're following Key Valdez and Varro Runcal. And again, if you read book one, you totally knew that this pairing was going to be. As you can see, I got it as an arc this summer and I really enjoyed it. And this definitely builds off of the first book. So in historical romance, a lot of the time you can pick up any book you want in a series and read it and be satisfied. In this series, you really want to read book one before you read book two because the events of what's happening in book two are because of what happened in book one. So if you pick this up before reading book one, you're going to spoil yourself for what happened and not just for the romance, just for the actual science fiction plot because this series has a science fiction plot. <laughs> but this I think is one of my favorite pairings. We have Ki who is a sunshine personality with Varro who is more of a grumpy like personality. Their romance feels more like how romances happened to me growing up. I would like someone and I'd flirt with them and nothing would happen. And so I would assume they didn't like me. And then I would find out later, no, they liked me. But they didn't realize I was flirting with them. And I didn't realize that they were flirting with me until we talked about it and said, oh, hey, oh, shoot, we are really bad at communicating. So that is what you have here is you have two characters who actually like each other who think that the other one doesn't like them. <laughs> and so it, this is just a lot of fun, especially because once they realize, yeah, we're on the same page, they're on the same page moving forward. I also love that Varro at no point negates the power that Key has. She is the like, computer specialist. She's the computer whiz. He never tries to tell her not to do something because he wants to keep her safe. He realizes that she is working within boundaries that she is comfortable with. He wants her to be safe, of course, but he knows that she is capable at her job and he's there to help and support her not to hinder her. And I love that in this book. Definitely these two are some of my favorite relationships. Now, of course, we come up against alien culture, culture, honor issues that aren't always explained to the humans because the humans are like, okay, that's not a big deal. And the aliens are like, no, this is serious. This is my honor. And you're like, okay, no, we're, no. <laughs> I know that made no sense. If you read it, it makes more sense. So the shenanigans that Key gets into and Varro by relation because he's with her on this mission as they search for more information about the person who caused all the tr trouble in the first book leads to some fun situations. This is like in this one, I would say the romance is even with the science fiction part of the story. But again, like if you watch my other review, the relationship in that first one felt very real. The, this one feels very real as well, especially because these characters met in the last book and so they've had more time with one another. It makes sense that once they get to that romance part, they are moving faster because they've already had that meet and that build up. Again, great characters in this book and it's not just the love interest it's the side character as well like you Mihalik has created a universe here that feels real she could definitely write another series in this universe and it would be great because the world building is there it is set up for you and the choices that the characters make make sense like this is very much a character series. You have to love the characters in order to enjoy this. If you like sci-fi sci romance, this is going to work for you. Just like in the last book, there is not like a lot of sex in it. I think there might be like a dream sequence in this one and then the real sex scene is towards the end of the book right as everything's wrapping up, which again makes sense because of what's going on. 
you don't just stop and have sex. That doesn't make sense in real life. Again, it's a more realistic relationship and I enjoy that. So this, again, works for me, hits all my buttons, and I am really looking forward to book three next year. Side note, I don't know if this is going to be just a trilogy. I hope not, because I, I do know that book three, the pairing that it'll be for there, but then there's another group pairing that I'm very interested in, and I would love to see her write that. So yeah, I hope it's not a trilogy. I hope it is a, like, has four books in it. And then the fourth book is a little bit longer because you have more people in that pairing. And that's the only thing you're going to get. Like I said, if you've read these books, you know the pairings. They make sense. And if you have, please let me know down below. Thank you and have a great day.